Cities across the nation are grappling with homelessness. Spokane certainly no exception. Earlier this week, in fact, the city council here acknowledged there's a severe housing shortage that's making the situation even more difficult. But now a new low income complex aims to give the city's most vulnerable a place to live. Graham News Morgan Trow was at the grand opening earlier today. This is the bedroom of one of the community members at Schweitzer Haven. There are 50 rooms that look just like this one, fully furnished to help our community's most vulnerable. The Beatrice and Ed Schweitzer Haven complex actually started housing people last year, but due to the pandemic, their grand opening took place today. And we got a look inside. I think we're both still in a little bit of shock, aren't we, Beatrice? Spokane has a housing problem and has had a shortage for years. Beatrice and Ed Schweitzer saw community members struggling, so they worked with the Catholic Charities to provide 50 new homes for those experiencing homelessness. And I feel so um, amazed that of, about how the community comes together. And you know, we are the lucky ones, and our worst day is probably better than many people's best day. Ed's desire to help the most vulnerable comes from watching his dad. As a kid in Chicago, he said his father would go downtown and invite people without homes into his, giving them jobs and a place to warm up in the winter. That was his personal mission, which is so sim similar to what uh, goes on here at a much larger scale. So it made me think a lot of my father. He helped design the building, working with Catholic Charities and the city to invite the most vulnerable people in. The organization says the city does a vulnerability assessment, and the 50 deemed to be most at risk were moved in. Each room is for one person. That includes a bedroom, kitchen, and bathroom, fully stocked when they move in. We cannot forget that there are those who just cannot help themselves, and that's why we have to care for them. So they are no longer homeless. They have a home. It's here. The complex also provides services, including case management, substance abuse counseling, mental health counseling, and assistance in locating and maintaining employment. But most importantly, a safe place to call home. Catholic Charities says there are three more projects just like this one happening right now. But they said they won't stop until everyone has a home. Reporting in downtown Spokane, Morgan Trout, Crem2 News.